Okay, let's see. Right here we have Crash Nitro Kart for the GameCube. One of you did ask for a long play of this. And I do have it on the PS2 with the Crash Bandicoot Action Pack that has Nitro Kart, Twin Sanity, and Tag Team Racing. But after looking at a comparison video between the PS2, GameCube, and Xbox versions, this one has the most consistency in frame rate, believe it or not. You would think that it would be the more powerful system, the Xbox, that would have a better frame rate consistency, but no, it's actually the GameCube. So, yeah, I found that pretty interesting. So I went ahead and got the GameCube version, and this is what I'm going to be doing a long play on. So, there we go. And I'll... I'm not, I'm not sure when I'm going to have a long play of this. I mean... I have not played much of the game. As much as I love dri driving games, you'd think I would be all over this, but I'm actually not. Same as Mario Kart. I'm not a full-on kart racer type of guy where I would just play this non-stop. I'm more into like full-on licensed cars racing games like Need for Speed, uh, Forza, some Gran Turismo, even though I don't really own them and play them that much, but Forza, uh, Need for Speed, there's Burnout as well with cars, but they're not licensed cars, but I still play the hell out of Burnout. I'll try and maybe aim for early next year for this, because I, I do have a lot going on right now, and I kind of need to start getting employment, because... It's getting to the point where I'm not being supported online and I have no money coming in other than my disability right now. So I have to get employment and get more money coming in. Otherwise I won't be able to do much of this for much longer. So yeah, it's a thing. Okay. Ho ho ho, this is a fantastic find. Also a rare one to find. It was 150 when I bought this, and yeah, I'm glad I did. Whew! Rayman for Sega Saturn. Wow. Ah. And here's the back of the, the case, the long box, and it's similar looking to the PlayStation 1 box. Here's the Sega one, here's the PlayStation one. And yeah, they're both pretty much identical, except for the Sega description and stuff like that. But yeah, these are pretty great. And, ooh, we got foam. But yeah, here's what the inside looks like. And yeah, there's the foam right there, just to, yeah, and yeah. I got this because I'm looking for all things Rayman. I'm trying to increase my Rayman collection by getting any Rayman game that I can find, especially original Rayman. And I still yet to find one on the Atari Jaguar, but that's even more rare to find than the Sega Saturn copy. And there was a person with a big collection that sold all his, his whole collection into a store that I go to and this was one of them and I, I'm glad he did because I was able to get this and whoo oh yeah this is still in fantastic condition as well so Rayman on the side there we go this is actually facing the right way as the normal games would look like on the shelf but when it comes to the PlayStation version, it's facing the other way. Why? And it's the same thing on both sides. So, I don't know why they did that, but regardless, I'm happy I got this now. So, now it's going to be tough to find a Sega Saturn system because those, apparently in my area, is hard to find. So, and probably going to be expensive when they sew up. So, yeah, that's probably going to be a little while before I can actually play this. So, there we go. Alright. Wow, you can't really see that at all. Dang. 
All right. Let's see. There's three more things for the games. Right here we have a Crash Bandicoot Collector's Edition. Yes, I did get this the same time I got the Rayman for Sega Saturn. And this is complete in box for the Collector's Edition. Oh yeah. It's Crash. Crash and more. Crash Bandicoot. We got Crash Bandicoot Warped. We got Crash Team Racing. I hate you. <laughs> and we got Crash Bass. Oh my. So yep, they're both, they're all the collector's edition. And you can tell what the thing on the back, part of a set. So all three of them would have that part of a set. And part of a set. So... I don't think there's much of any difference between the regular versions and the Collector's Edition versions. I think the Collector's Edition basically means that you can get three games for one price in a nice white Collector's Edition type aesthetic. So I think it's mostly an aesthetic type of thing. But if you guys know any differences, I'll probably look it up as well, but if you, if you guys know of any differences between the regular versions and these, the Collector's Edition version, then let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, this was pretty, pretty great. Pretty nice find as well. So yeah. Alright, two more games and then we'll... This is probably going to be a few parts. I apologize for going a little long, but I wanted to... So you guys what I got. And right here we have another Rayman game, game Boy Advance in box. Rayman Hoodlum's Revenge. Oh my. Now this was not only a timely find. And wow you can really hear it inside. This was a timely thing because I found the box for this. In a store in town here. And that was really lucky. But it wasn't ready for sale yet. Because it wasn't complete yet. But when this was complete. It was only twenty four ninety nine. That is a steal right there if I ever saw one. It wouldn't be that price if it was at a proper retro store. Where I'd get some of these games from. This at a retro store where I would get some of the others. This would probably have been double the price. So maybe up to this, $45, give or take. Maybe even $60. But this was found at a store in my town for $25. And I think I, I scored the best deal on this one. So I've not played this at all, though. All the Rayman Game Boy games I have not played, except for Advance. Because I did a long play of that. Link in the description if you want to check it out. On my Rayman channel, I did upload the all cutscenes video of Rayman Advance. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to that, see that as well. But for the long play, it's on this channel. And the rest of them, however, I haven't played yet. So it's going to be a fun experience going through every one of them. So yeah, this was an amazing find for the money. So, okay. Now, this one, this one was 45 bucks and I'm taking it right now out of the, out of the protective sleeve. I'll put it back in later. Wow, it could away from the chair, oh my god. But yeah, this one was great. This one was a great find. It's a PlayStation 1 game. It's a long box like this but it's not actually this the need for speed road and track presents the need for speed in a cardboard type box now that is interesting so we got the name on the side there so like the Sega Saturn it's actually facing nope it's not facing the right way it's facing like this so i guess i guess that's a thing with playstation they were bullshit but for everything else it's the right way i don't know why they did it that way but 
So yep, we got the little clip on here. So let's open it up. And we got a cardboard type case. And in here we got different descriptions of different games from different companies like Bullfrog, Origin, Electronic Arts Studios, EA Sports, High Score Entertainment. We got different games like High Octane. We got Wind Commander, Theme Park, Syndicate Wars, Road Rash, Shockwave Assault, Sports Games, Psychic Detective, which is interesting. And yeah, it's all colorized inside, so there we go. And then fade the black as well. But yeah, this, this was pretty interesting to find. But even if that wasn't in there, I wouldn't have cried about it because as long as the game has the manual inside, I'm pretty happy. And this is a great condition manual as well. It is not colorized. It is black and white. So, that is unfortunate. I don't think the PlayStation 1 ones are colorized. Well, some of them would be, but I think long box ones might not be, or it might depend on the version of the game, whether it's, I don't know. Maybe the long box ones don't have colorized booklets. I don't know. Feel free to let me know in the comments below. A flyer for the magazines right here and we got the disc right there as well along with another foam so that's nice helps keep the manual and stuff off of the the disc so yeah this could have easily been double the price or seventy dollars like Rayman for Game Boy Color but forty five dollars is actually a decent price for this Especially because you can't really find these that much anywhere. Especially in as great a condition as this. So, there we go. Eight Purebred Exotics. The Lamborghini Diablo VT. Chevrolet Corvette Z01. Porsche 911 Carrera. Ferrari 512TR. Acura NSX. The Mazda RX-7. Dodge Viper RT-10 and Toyota Supra Turbo. So yeah, this would be pretty fun to play. I'm not particular, particularly fond of the PlayStation 1 graphics, especially for racing games, but if you guys want to see a video or something like on this game, then let me know in the comments below. I will gladly check it out. So yeah. Uh, right, where are you gonna go? Probably right here, why not? Okay. That's all the games that I've gotten in the past few months. And yeah, some of them are fantastic. And some, some of the others are basically ones that I've managed to find for low prices. My most expensive game out of this bunch would be this one at 150. This one was 120. And I guess my third most expensive out of this bunch would be Need for Speed and Rayman 3 for 45 bucks. But yeah, other than that, I think that's pretty good for what it is. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, the couple parts that I've shown for the games. I still have a few more things to show you guys. They will be in another video coming soon. But yeah, other than that, Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time for more. Later.